how did you die? Oh my god. Hey guys, it's time to do paladins. Alright, so for pallies, okay. I used Elam, he's our Rectory Paladin, Valtharian, who is one of our Holy Paladins, and Acidic, who is our Pally Tank. Um, I didn't get a chance to interview our Guildmaster Khan, just kind of like schedules conflicting, so um, sucks a little bit, but maybe I'll be able to type a little something on his little overall opinion of everything. But sorry, I'm getting a little bit behind on all the class changes, so there's just lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff to do. So anyways, let's do Paladins. Um, the biggest thing, after talking to them, the biggest thing that stood out in my head for Paladins is one, you guys are going to get that pet, that guardian, which seems really cool, and I loved the idea that the guardian is going to do different things depending on what spec you are. So if you're a healer, that you're gonna, your guardian's going to like help you do heals, and um, if you're a ret, Richardin, then the Guardian's going to help you do DPS, and if you're a tank, it'll help you um, absorb damage, which was really, really cool. Elam's pretty stoked about most all of the changes. Um, there's there's a ability you guys have called Divine Storm, which I guess is an AOE damage done, and that's going, or it affects four targets right now or something, but anyways, that abil ability is going to change so that it, you can do DPS on more than just four targets, but it's going to be less damage done overall. Also, Crusader Strike for Retrodens is going to be given at level 1, so it'll be starting right off. So Elm was like, yeah, it's going to be even easier to level a Paladin now. Uh, apparently they're an easy class to level. I would know. I don't level. I don't have a Pally. Um, anyway, so that's new for level 1s. Um, Retrodens are also going to be giving an Interrupt, which Elm was excited for for PvP. Uh, that's going to help dealing with casters and stuff, and was like... Oh, yay, another something the paladin can hit me with and stun me or something with, so I don't know if I'm very excited about that big hunter, but that's another cool thing for you guys that's going to help in your PvP. Also, a really great one for raids is that um, Blessing of Might and Blessing of Wisdom are going to be combined to be just one buff, uh, so there's no more arguing over who wants what and like me accidentally getting bow instead of bow, and so that's uh, going to be a lot easier on the buffing, I think, for the paladins, which was very nice. They're going to take away some of the defensive, or just like decrease a little bit some of the defensive things that paladins can do, and uh, for retrogens can do, and then increase some of their offensive moves, and, um, and it also looks like Blizzard is trying to make the paladins the retrogens a little bit harder to play, so they might be changing their rotation or spells or abilities so that say if you're you have a set rotation and if you mess something up that you might do a lot more da lot less damage than if you just messed up hit a button wrong or something. Um, it's quite easy to recover from, so it looks like that your rotation might be changing. But Blizzard hasn't really gone into very much detail on what it was just kind of mentioned that was the idea that they have for your class is to make it a little bit harder to play. I um, guess that's a little bit of bad news for you guys, so <laughs> sorry. So for interviewing our tank, Acidic, that was pretty short. He wasn't overall that happy with everything. It was kind of just crap. Uh, tanks aren't going to have that many changes, except that you're going to have the Gargoyle, or not the Gargoyle, but it's going to be kind of like the DK Gargoyle, the Guardian, that's going to absorb damage, which would be cool, but not that much is going to be changing for tanks. Kind of look like they're nerfing some of the tank stuff, so I'll, um, again, all the information's in the action bar below, so click on it and you can read up a little bit more on all the specifics on all the class. But uh, sorry for the bad news, then tanks if you're... Okay, so for Veltharian, um... He's just a little bit skeptical, I guess. I mean, not really looking forward to the changes. There was nothing that great that was just like, oh, yay, can't wait to Cataclysm so we get this new thing. Um, he said he still thinks the class is going to be just as fun to play. There's going to be changes, and um, definitely, like, fingers crossed it's going to be just as fun to play. They're changing some of the healing abilities, and like I mentioned in the Druids, that what they're changing for y'all, um, they're taking away some stuff for paladins, so I guess paladins are really great on tank heal, like one-on-one -on -one healers, so keeping the tanks up and stuff, and they're changing some other classes so that they'll be more viable as tank healers, and taking away that just being kind of like a solo pally job. If you guys hadn't heard this already, uh, you pallies aren't going to need to stack um, MP5 as much, or so at all anymore, I think you're just, like, all your mana and regen and stuff is just going to go off of intellect. 
Um, yeah, so he said that was going to be kind of neat, and he's just looking, I mean, looking a little bit forward to how the class is going to be played, and the mechanics, and gear-wise, and um, the Guardian for the healers, he was a little unsure of how it worked. He said it depends if it's going to be an instant that's going to help heal, like be some kind of save or something, that would be awesome. And then if it's that, then he's really looking forward to it. But if it's going to have some kind of cast time, um, he doesn't see that being that viable for a raid because then again, like you're just casting heals as fast as you can, especially if you have a boss that's hitting really hard. And if you need to have a cast time to cast this pet that just is going to help you out heal, it might not be that great of a thing, so um, it just depends how Blizzard is going to implement that little angel thing you guys are getting, so um, we'll just have to wait and see on some blue posts on more details on how that's going to be played. I love this little quote I have from Beltharian that paladins are going to become more like personal totems <laughs> with just like radiating heals off of them, so... <laughs> Uh, Holodense, uh, look forward to some changes or expect some changes coming up to your guys' class. Uh, there just really wasn't that much details on how it's going to be changed, um, just that there were going to be changes. Who knows, maybe in Cataclysm you'll have a bunch of role swaps on which class is going to be doing actually the tank heals and which class is going to be doing AoE. Anyways, I'm going to go have fun with work. We got a new collection if you're a Mac fan. Uh, Liberty of London is out in Europe, so it's like pretty blues and pinky colors. And if you like that, you should go to Mac and get some of our cool products. Alright guys, see you later.